Hello, everybody. It's uh, Dr. Mike, uh, your professor for COVID-19, the course. Welcome. As you know, this course is being cross-listed as either a geography course or a sociology course. It's likely a first of its kind in the world. And it's a chance for us during these trying times to explore the pandemic as it unfolds almost in real time. I'm uh, coming to you here from a virtual reality space through a platform called Engage. It's a, a wonderful tool for teaching. It's also very useful for holding meetings. Uh, a lot of organizations are now using something like this also to uh, host conferences. And uh, it has a, a lot of powerful features. Uh, I can pull up PowerPoints, I can pull in video, I can bring up special effects. Uh, and in fact, uh, if all of you had a, a headset for VR, you could all join me in real time and we could move around and discuss things and do small group work. Unfortunately, that's not gonna work in this particular context. Uh, a little bit too late to get all that rolling and to figure out um, how to make it feasible from an expense perspective. But I, I do think that it is the future of um, this technology and of distance teaching. So a little bit about myself first before we get into the course and the welcome. So I've been a professor now for uh, more than 25 years. Uh, 10 years at Thompson Rivers University. I arrived here um, in 2010 as the Dean of the Faculty of Arts. And after a four year stint of doing that, I returned to um, the classroom to be a professor and to work with people like yourselves, which is um, much more enjoyable in, in many respects. And why I went into university in, in the first place. Uh, throughout my career, I've uh, taught at various universities, the University of Alberta, the University of Winnipeg, University of Saskatchewan, Queen's University, and York University. So I have a, a wide range of experiences at different institutions and a lot of familiarity with uh, university culture. And I'm hoping to be able to uh, use that to uh, really give you a, a feel for this fast moving thing that we call COVID-19. In terms of academic research, I, I work primarily in the fields of environmental and health risk issues. And I'm also a member of a national network in Canada called CanCOVID, which is a research network set up by the Chief Science Officer of Canada to specifically explore um, COVID-related issues. These are unprecedented times. You've heard that before. And we've all been um, forced to pivot our teaching to online. Uh, it's both a challenge and an opportunity in many respects. This course is still evolving. As you can tell, um, uh, there's nothing on the Moodle shell yet. Um, I am in the process of collecting and putting together uh, reading materials for you. A lot of them will be from popular press articles and from current journals about the pandemic itself. We'll also look at some historical issues. So I'm looking at uh, some articles that um, go back to SARS and, of course, farther back in history. We'll be looking at the environmental impacts of uh, COVID-19, and there's part of the geography side of things. But we'll also be looking a lot at the social, economic, and health impacts, as well as um, things like um, the impact of uh, COVID-19 on, on crime rates, and what it's like to date in the modern world when you've got COVID-19 to contend with. We'll be looking at some really neat things like social distancing and some of the sociological components and issues associated with that. And we'll also be exploring things like uh, apps that are being developed called contact tracker apps to uh, help detect the spread of the disease and to provide more timely um, the management of it. And of course, these raise significant surveillance and privacy issues. So there's a lot to cover. It's gonna be fast paced. We're not gonna be holding regular lectures. What I'll be doing is I'll be producing uh, annotated PowerPoint notes for you with video and audio. I may do an occasional Engage event like this uh, where I'll just uh, put it up on YouTube or on some other platform, perhaps directly onto Moodle. And we will be uh, meeting twice a week as per the schedule for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour at the most. Uh, and that's to discuss issues. It's uh, not for lecture. The lecture material will be in the annotated PowerPoint notes. And there'll be lots of small group assignments and chances for you to work on specific projects related to COVID-19. I know that it's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be a, a time management issue for all of us. And it's uh, not our usual way of operating. Distance courses are often hard to maintain engagement. So we will work and do our best to come up with a, a variety of tools and techniques and a shared culture to make this work and to make it fun and to really, I hope, 
give you an incredible set of tools to work with going forward. So thanks again. Look forward to meeting you all once we start uh, towards the end of June. Um, and again, um, I'm Dr. Mike, your professor. Okay, take care.